You're a lonely sailor, and your soul is made of wind and rain, doubts and blame. I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is... Hi guys, hope you're well, and welcome back to another cleaning video. Today I am sharing with you all an ultimate clean with me. I had a lot of stuff to catch up on. The summer holidays have really truly gotten to me. The boys have just been causing chaos around the house and this evening I was all for putting them in bed and just blasting it. So there is a lot to this video. I have literally annihilated the downstairs of my home. I've gone around everywhere and given everywhere a good clean and tidy and I feel like everything is organized and back in its space. So if you want to clean alongside me this evening then definitely do that put me on in the background put me on your tv on your laptop wherever it may be on your phone and get cleaning alongside me whether it's just a little power hour whether it's 10 minutes or whether it's a slightly deeper clean I'd love for you to join along with me and let me know in the comment box below if you are cleaning alongside me today if you're not though, and you're just watching me for some motivation to get up off the sofa or some motivation for later on in the day when you know you've got to do some cleaning, that is fab too. And I hope this can help inspire you. I'm gonna start off with the living room and as always, as I always do do, I'm cleaning and tidying up everywhere first. So everywhere has to be tidy first. So tonight I was actually just done with the boys. They were bickering, they were fighting. And so on this evening, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna put the toys away myself. It was one of those days where I was gonna bite the bullet. And normally I do make the boys tidy up after themselves because I just can't stand tidying up after them when they've made all the mess themselves. But tonight wasn't one of those evenings. So I'm gonna tidy up all their toys, get them all back to where they need to be. And then obviously I'm gonna go around and clean up. I was filming a lot on this day. I was doing a lot of filming. So I've just got stuff from like hauls everywhere. And I've got products that I've bought where I was shopping. It's just chaos. So I'm just tidying everything up first before I crack on with the cleaning. I've got troubles, I've got sins I'm my worst enemy But I've still got a lot to give So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away with me Hey, won't you come, won't you come? And say by chance, don't you wanna make And I've also mentioned quite a few times on a lot of my recent cleaning videos how I've been after a heated era. So I'm currently popping some bits into the tumble dryer. These are just like odd bits and bobs, like some towels and stuff like that and some underwear. Little bits like that I don't mind putting in the tumble, but I don't like using them for like our everyday clothes. And I've been after a heated era and so many of you guys recommended to me the Lakeland heated era. So I finally bit the bullet and I purchased it. It's due to arrive any day now. So hopefully this will be up and running very, very shortly. And then I can look to give you some idea on how good it is, how well it works and stuff like that. I'm really hoping it's gonna solve all of my laundry problems. I really am because in the winter, trying to dry my clothes, it just takes so long. And being a family of four, the boys go through so many, you can only imagine. But now I'm gonna tidy up the hallway. This honestly just builds up. I'm getting rid of this baby gate here. It's been a godsend whilst Parker has been young and I highly recommend it because it fits in any shape. But now he's a bit older, this is just like a catch-all area. And like I said, it was fab to be a catch-all when I didn't want Parker to get his hands on stuff. But now it's driving me a tad insane and Adam just kind of uses it to throw his stuff down and we do the same. So yeah, I can't wait to get rid of that and just actually get a normal baby gate. And then once this area is tidy, everything's been put away, like the shoes back in the cupboard, everything brought upstairs, everything in its place, then I can crack on the kitchen, which you don't even want to see. It is a bomb site right now. Troubles, I got sins. I'm my worst enemy, but I still got a lot to give. So I said, Hey, don't you want to come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? 
I did tell you it wasn't pretty. I've got stuff out here from where I was working. The boys' dinner plates have left over where they've gone to bed and I haven't got around to tidying it up, so I've got to tidy up all that. And then I've bought like drinks and all sorts recently that I just need to pop back into the fridge, put everything away, get everything organized. I just feel like when my kitchen is chaos, it really, really stresses me out. So I need to get all of this tidy. There's like a massive puddle on the floor where the bottle was knocked over. Honestly, it's chaos, but something else that I really wanted to recommend to you as well are these bins. I absolutely love them. We installed them a little while ago now into just one of our cupboards. I just purchased them off of eBay. I believe you can get them on eBay and Amazon. So for anyone that doesn't have access to like eBay that may ship to their country, um, you can get them on Amazon too. So I'll leave a couple of links below. I believe I might have actually purchased these ones from eBay just because the shipping was quicker, but I can't remember which way around it was, but they're an absolute godsend. We have one for like our main rubbish and then we have a recycling and a food bin in there as well. And we don't have really large bins and we've got no space for a bin in our house either in our kitchen. So these have been absolutely amazing. So if you're looking for something like that, they were, it took seconds to install, so I highly recommend. So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away with me Hey, won't you come, won't you come And sit by chance, don't you want a man A man who fully understands Who fully understands So I said, hey, don't you want to come Come and run away with me Hey, won't you come, won't you come And sit by chance So this is something I've been a tad bit excited about. Last year we bought a microwave, however, it was too small to fit our bottles in to sterilize Parker's bottles and because they were self-sterilizing man bottles. And so we bought a new microwave and we had to send it back because it was no good. But the microwave that we've had, we've had since our very first flat back in 2011. So it's eight years old. Can you imagine how bad it was? But we couldn't get rid of our last one because we needed it for height and we couldn't find any. However, I have just purchased a new one. It's white, which I absolutely love. It looks so sleek, so good. Ours goes in our cupboard because we don't use it very often. We don't have much counter space either. But it's exactly the same brand as what we had before. I compared all the measurements. And the reason why I purchased white is because I thought the next time that we may have, when we decide to move, obviously, it will probably be like some form of white somewhere. So I figured that it would just kind of go with everything and it works in the house we're in at the moment. And I'm just so excited to have a new microwave. Our last one was rusted so bad and I felt so ashamed of it. You would never have seen it on camera or anything like that. But I decided to pop the microwave in because I'd had it for like a day, popped it into the cupboard, got rid of the last one and then decided, you know what? I'm just gonna give all the cupboards a clean as well because they were really getting to me. I was just gonna put everything out. I was, I was on one this evening so um, it really needed it though you know when you just feel like everything kind of gets on top of you in between work and mum life and stuff like that and I mean the boys they go back to school tomorrow and nursery and I finally get a bit of me time back again to get my house in order to get my work life in order and stuff like that but 
I am so happy to see the back of this microwave and it was a really reasonable price as well. So I'll leave that link below if any of you guys are after one. It does some really cool settings as well. Like it, no, it has a setting for like potatoes and rice and pasta. I've never seen anything like it. And also whilst I'm on the ball with all of this, um, I'm gonna mention to you, I've been using the Unstoppables again. I really, really like them. But also the Dr. Beckman color catchers. They just comes one in a pack and you get 30 uses out of them. Obsessed with those as well at the moment. I love color catchers for keeping all of my clothes the color that they should be. So I highly recommend. And this load isn't gonna be hung up this evening. This is a load that's gonna go on a delayed start, ready for the morning. It kind of gets me on my way if I put on a load the evening before. And I always try and do this if possible. And so conveniently whilst trying to clean my little one's high chair, the Hoover died. It normally lasts such a long time and it's our fault because we haven't put the battery on in such a long time. But I was trying to hoover up all the crumbs and everything underneath it. But I did want to mention how my velvet chairs and my buffet in my living room, how they stay so clean. The secret is Dr. Beckman. Honestly, it brings them up. Any stains or anything like that, it can do an amazing job. And if you can hear any background noise, that is because I am a working mum and Parker's just woken up from his nap because obviously the summer holidays are only just becoming over and his nursery days aren't as high. Can you say hello? Hello. Oh, good job. But yeah, he's just woken up from his nap, so I'm multitasking as we speak. But yeah, the best thing to clear these up with kids, you can get sauces off them, hand marks, everything, anything velvet, try Dr. Beckman's stain remover. Just 
And now I'm about to go around my sink with a magic eraser. I have done an entire hacks video on these. I'm definitely gonna look to create another hacks video because I have so many more uses that I haven't shared with you yet. But my favorite ones are to clean the toilet, to get rid of any marks on your walls and obviously to bring up your sink and also like stainless steel sinks. This works perfect on them too. It's not just for white sinks, but I love going around my sink with a magic eraser. It is a godsend. day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind also, if you watched my recent Home Sense haul, you would have seen I bought this little gadget to suction to my sink. This was to keep my sponge and my dish matic in. Now, it wasn't sticking, and I think it was because I just <laughs> cleaned my sink. However, I've now popped it on my tiles, and it's sticking perfectly. I'm so impressed. And now none of the bits are in the sink and getting wet every time someone makes a drink or anything like that. So I'm really impressed with this, and it was super cheap. You can obviously get loads of similar ones off Amazon and eBay. I just picked this up when I was in the shop, but yeah, I absolutely love this. And obviously, no sink clean is complete without a little bit of Zoflora. This one was Twilight Garden. I'm definitely getting into more of the autumnal winter scents now um, instead of the summer scents, and I'm really enjoying this. But yeah, my Zoflora sink has been run. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face So I decided to go around all the cupboards And actually this is a job that I normally leave for my husband I'm so anal over how much I clean these And them not being smeary or having any marks left on them And because they're white I normally let him do stuff like this Because he doesn't care as much should we say however for anyone that's looking for a way to gloss up and get like the white gloss units and doors and stuff like that really clean without being smeary method spray does an amazing job with a good microfiber cloth so if you're looking for something method works on so much stuff and i have so much love for it plus it smells really good my favorite is the wild rhubarb scent i don't know where i am it's like i'm wasted and i won't waste it and i promise that i I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it Let's get a little reckless 
You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I So now all the bins are sorted out as well. I'm popping in this new kind of air freshener. I can't remember whose Facebook, it wasn't Facebook, it was YouTube or Instagram. I saw it on someone's YouTube or Instagram and I mentioned in my haul when I saw it that I'd seen it on somebody else's page. Um, but yeah, it's just one to put in by the bins just so if there's any sort of scent, instead of you getting like a bad odor when you open the door, anything that may have been left like you would in a normal bin, this can kind of help freshen it up a little so it doesn't smell as bad. And this scent has been amazing. I've been so impressed. And later on in the video, I actually put one in our downstairs loo as well, and it smells just as good. said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it So as always, every single day, my downstairs toilet has to be cleaned. Living in a house with boys, you can only begin to imagine the messes in here. And I mean, I can't even blame this one on the husband. It is Clayton. <laughs> um, being at the ripe old age of four, he, yeah, you can only imagine the mess that I have to deal with. Um, so I always go around and as always, I always use the disposable dark toilet brush pads as well. Absolutely love them, still using them. I find them super hygienic, so I absolutely love them. Yeah, always have to give the downstairs loo a little bit of a clean. You'll have to let me know as well if you've enjoyed. I don't know how many of you guys have noticed, but this video has been a little bit slower to my normal videos. So normally I speed them up a little bit more. This one's been a lot slower, but I've done some fast moments as well. So you'll have to let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer them a lot faster or have you really enjoyed the speed of this video? Let me know in the comments below. I've never felt like this. What are you doing to me? And lighting this candle, this was in my recent Home Sense and my August favourites video as well. It is Pumpkin Spice by Sand and Fog. It smells so good. I picked it up from Home Sense and this has got me in the autumnal mood through and through. And you'll have to make sure you subscribe if you like autumnal content because I have a Decorate and Clean With Me video coming in just a short amount of time in a few uploads. So stay tuned for that. That is gonna be an amazing video and it's also a collaboration with one of my sweet friends as well. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on the bell notification button so you are notified every time I upload a new video. But my Hoover's back charged now. So now I can be back on the move with hoovering everywhere, tidying everywhere and giving everywhere a good mop as well because it is pretty dirty in my house. It doesn't even look like it, but you can see everything from these white porcelain tiles. It doesn't come up on camera, but it's really, really bad. So now everywhere's gonna be cleaned and hoovered. I'm then gonna give it a mop 
And I'm also going to be doing a video on how I deep clean my porcelain tiles. I have had so many questions on this. So many of you guys saying how smeary they turn out and stuff like that. And I've never had an issue, but I perfected it a few months after moving into my house. So I'm going to be doing a video on that so you guys can watch that and have a few little pointers and tips that may help. I'm also going to try and look to upgrade my mop soon as well. I'm not a big fan. This is the Valida mop. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't really like the microfiber pad on the bottom. I did really, really love my Aegis mop. And after that one broke, I tried a few different ones. But I definitely think I'm going to be repurchasing my Aegis one. I've also seen another like swirly head type one online. I'm kind of following like, it's like the Instagram made me do it type thing, but I definitely think I might be purchasing that soon as well. I think it's called Air Something, although I can't be sure. Let me know if you've got it and what your thoughts are on it. Um, But yeah, I'm absolutely in love with trying to sort out and source new cleaning products. So I mean, not the best thing in the world, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, there's lots more cleaning content coming up in the upcoming weeks and months. As always, now the boys are back at school and I've got my energy back. I can fire you with more content. If you have, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye guys.